Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am here to talk to you today again about varnish. So a couple Tuesdays ago, I talked to you about spray varnish, okay, and how to, um, you know, finish your projects by making sure that um, they are sealed with some varnish. It's going to keep them from fading, from the UV light, from changing their colors and different things like that. And I, we focused on spray varnishes and fixatives. And I, gave, I promised you that I was going to talk to you about liquid varnish because sometimes you might want to use liquid. I used to use it. I do not use it as much anymore. I'm just going to be honest with you. So um, I, the sprays are just easier. That's just the way that it is. Um, but I might go back to them. Who knows? Um, it definitely seals it much better. Now, I will let you know, um, full disclosure, if you like to work in texture, okay, if you remember this painting that I did with the sailboat, that has a lot of texture to it. I use the um, palette knife with this. You cannot use liquid varnish on this painting, okay? It's just not gonna work with all that texture. Um, it, these, the, the liquid is gonna pool in all of those crevices and it's not gonna look right. You have to use the spray for this, okay? So if you have a, um, a flat surface. Now I will tell you with the with the dots that I used on this, this is one that we did for Christmas and July um, over the summer. Um, but if you, you know, these have a little bit of a bump to it, but it should be okay. And shame on me. You can go ahead and put in the comments, shame on you, Chris. I did not varnish this. So shame on me. So I'm going to go ahead and varnish it now. Now, um, as I told you, I usually use a matte or satin. Satin tends to be my go-to. I used to use gloss. So that's what I have here is a gloss medium and varnish. This is the Liquitex, okay, um, as opposed to the Krylon spray. All right. So what are you going to need to do this? Okay, I use a few different things. Number one, this is going to be messier. OK, um, but it's easy for like working indoors. You don't have to worry so much about the temperature, you know, all of those things. Um, it so, it, you know, especially if, if you're up in the north where it's too cold right now to spray varnish, then liquid is probably going to be your friend unless you have a well ventilated room or something like that. Um, um, it does take longer to dry, obviously, because this is liquid um, and you're going to want a few coats of it. I think I used to put about two or three um, of coats on. Um, so this is how I would do it. Okay. First of all, you need um, wax paper. Again, this is going to drip. So you need something that's going to be easy cleanup. I usually just use some you know, wax paper, um, parchment paper. I mean, you can use that. It's a little bit more expensive, but something that's going to protect your um, your base. Then I have a can that I put um, underneath it just to keep it up so it doesn't stick to the surface um, and it, it'll drip down and then we can always... Um, um, and this has the tape still on it, so we could probably just pull it off, the drippies off with the tape, or we can go in with a sander and uh, sand it down, um, uh, some sandpaper. Then you're going to want, obviously, your liquid varnish, a container for that varnish. That's going to be your container forever. This, as you can see, I have used quite a bit. There's going to be some stuff left over, so... I try to only use a little bit at a time, and then there you go. And you are going to want a, a varnish only brush, okay? Because this is, you're probably not going to want to, well, no, not probably. You're not going to want to use this brush on anything else after you varnish with it, okay? You're still going to wash it thoroughly, but you're not going to be able to get all the varnish out, so you're going to need a varnish only brush. So here we go. So I'm going to put a little bit of this varnish in. It looks, you know, kind of a milky color. Um, and actually it kind of has almost a milky kind of consistency, maybe a little bit thicker, um, um, but it's going to dry clear. Okay. So I am just going to put it on. You want nice, even coats. Okay. Try not to go back over it and you definitely 
don't want to shake this bottle okay kind of like nail polish once you um, shake it you just uh, you don't want to do that because it's going to cause all those bubbles and stuff in it okay so um, then I am going to this is one of those small canvases so it has these really thick sides to it so usually this is drippier this is not dripping all that much so I don't hopefully the varnish is okay it's kind of old um, but this is why I put it up on the can so that it can drop down now I kind of think when it comes to the different varnishes it, here's my opinion matte I think to me makes my work look flatter um, but it, then you're not fighting like when you're looking at the paintings you're not fighting with the um, light that's in the room or coming in from windows or things like that okay so it gives it a matte finish so this the the light isn't going to be reflecting off of it there's the drips um, so you just want to make sure it's nice and even and let the rest of it be um, gloss to me gives it the shine almost gives it more depth and to me makes the colors pop a little bit more but a lot of people don't like the gloss because then you know the you're, you're fighting with the <clears throat> the art you know with the Sun to see your artwork because you're gonna get that reflection off of it so I tend to go to um, or at least lately I seem to be going instead of gloss or matte I seem to be going to um, uh, the the satin that seems to be my go-to um, it's all really all a matter of choice um, preference you know try some things out you don't have to go get the great big bottle they've got smaller ones there um, if you choose to do the liquid um, but try it out and see what you think that you'd like now if this is going on like a wall or something I would definitely go with a satin or a mat okay so if you've done like a wall mural and you want to seal it you definitely want to do that <clears throat> because you've got light coming into the room and you want to protect it so you're going to use you could you you can use the sprays but just know the sprays are going to go everywhere and then you're going to have that stink in the house um, so you can use the the that would you know if you're going to do a, a, a mural um, the best bet would probably be to use the liquid varnish um, use a mat or a satin so that you can see your mural without having the shine just like you would use a satin finish or something like that for your for your paint for your wall or whatever um, go with a satin or matte finish for your varnish and that's it guys like I said you're gonna want to wash this out thoroughly put it in a baggie and put you know varnish only brush on it once it's once you're done um, let this dry and uh, and that's it once this dries I'm gonna let it sit here for a couple hours and check on it um, I'll put another coat on it going the opposite direction and two might be okay if you wanted to go for a third you can go back and forth in the up and down okay but you just want to always go in the same position and just like with nail polish like that last layer is going to take a while so you're going to want to let it sit you know I usually let it sit overnight or you know if I did it first thing in the morning let it sit in that spot all day long so I know that it's really good set and settled and uh, and that's it Hopefully that'll help you guys out. Take care, guys. Happy arting.